Welcome back Raiders to another Raid Shadow Legends video. And in this one, wow. For all the new people in Raid who don't know what this is right over here, the Raid Awards ceremony or show, AK, is coming to us this year, 2022. 2021 was crazy. It was it was an insane one. I, I love that one a lot. Um, 22 I heard it's gonna be even crazier um, we'll see um, so I'm gonna be having this here if you guys want to know more about it we can talk about it in my discord or you can DM me and uh, this should be in the future should be you know raids um, saffron man like uh, discord server where we could all go so I'll give you guys that information once I'm given that okay uh, but let's get right into what we're doing in this video and that is going to be Hero Soul. Um, so the so Divinity of War, and this is for the yeah, this is for the War uh, Divinity. All right. So increase the damage inflicted to bosses and their minions according to the number of living enemies. Okay, so Spider, Ice Golem, Nether Spider. Frost Spider, pretty much. So all spiders plus plus the Ice Golem. Okay. What else? Uh, ooh, Irrigoth the, the Eternal Dragon. Okay. Alright. That's not bad. I do like that. That's not bad for a rare. Okay. Hopefully the damage is not bad. Let's just move this out the way. All right, faultless defense. Uh, this champion re will receive less damage from each subsequent hits for multi hits. Ooh. Okay, the damage reduction increases with every additional hit. So the more multis, the the more you take, the take less. Depending on how much that it that is, that's pretty nuts. That's pretty nuts, especially with Ultimate Death Knight out who can stop single hits. If you want somebody else who can't take multi hits, hey, you can't stop AOE, but hey, we're starting to find different answers for different things, right? Okay. Commanding presence. So remember, we can't use this with the other one, um, the intimidating presence, which was part of the light, uh, because this is, you know, this is the ep this is the epic one, of course. Uh, that was a Lego. This is an epic version. So what does this do? Strengthen your team aura. Wait, that's it? Okay. I mean, it, it's not bad. It strengthens your aura, but you don't get to weaken theirs. Alright, alright. I mean, I guess if you want to use an epic version and not a Lego version, this is the best option you could go. Okay, okay. Not bad. Remember, you can't stack them, you can't have multiple uh, commanding, and you cannot use commanding with uh, the other one. Because if you have the other one, the other one just takes place, right? Because it's a better version. Chain Breaker. Ooh. At the start of this champion's turn, has, has a chance of removing any stun, free sleep, provoke. Nice. High weakening bonus whenever this champion is hit by. Ooh, so if you're hard, if you're hard, see seeing people and they hit you, you get free. What? This is really strong for an app. Okay, this is nutty. I wonder what the chances of removing any stun free sleep provoke. I wonder what that chance is. Is it 50%? Is it more? It's probably like 35, but if it's 50 or more, it's probably 50 because they like to make 50 50s. They like coin tosses in this game. Sedge. But if it's 75 or more, dude, that's nuts. Let's see. Life harvest. Destroy a portion of revived enemies' max HP whenever they are revived. Ooh, okay. They all come back. It's like, boom, take like 25% of your max HP instantly. That's pretty interesting. 
Mid awakening bonus. Whenever enemies are revived, partially fill this turn piece for each. I like th I like that. That is nutty. That's really good. This is interesting. I do like this. And people might be like, oh, that doesn't. Why is it a legendary? It should have been an epic. It's because there's two parts to it. And that actually can have a huge impact in Arena and some other areas. So, yeah, I, I definitely understand they had to limit it, right? Um, plus, we don't we don't want a lot of destroy enemy. Ex if people keep stacking enemy max HP, eventually you could just like hit someone, revive someone, and they're already at like thirty percent left. It's like, it's like what? And then you can't really do much. So I, I understand they don't want it to be insane, but it's slowly getting there. Who knows? And you never know if their champion comes out that might become super meta with destroy. Mm. Soul reap. Whenever this champion hits an enemy target and decreases their HP to a certain threshold, a Reaper will appear and deal extra damage equal to the target's remaining HP. For foes attacks, each target that has their HP reduced to the threshold in the attack. Well, oh, for AoE attacks, oh, each attack that has it will be visited by a Reaper. So the Reaper just goes boom, boom, boom. The Reaper will ignore defense as well as damage reduction to skills. If the target survives, high weakening bonus has a chance of placing a true fear. Deep Ooh. This is probably going to be one of the Soul Reap is going to be insane. Yes. Soul Reap. Oh, man. Sheesh. I mean, the fact that it ignores defense and all damage reduction skills. Include this includes ultimate death knight, right? And buffs. That's crazy. It's a single target hit. All right, thank you, Raiders, uh, for watching this Racial Legends video. The key um keyword for this one's gonna be war. You know, you know, blessings of war. So, um, thank you so much. Uh, this is going to be part two of the account giveaway. I'm going to be releasing uh, hopefully some more today videos. And um, yeah, man, let's keep going. I think I'm pretty hyped. These blessings are getting, as we see more and more, it's getting better and better. Also, if you're wondering a little more about the rate of words, I can give you a few um, quick thoughts on what it was. So the Saffron Man used to be a content creator in Raid uh in our you know program and he was you know he, uh he chose not like to get out and he he does this thing for the community on on twitch where we do like a, like a live show a ceremony of bringing all the content creators and a whole bunch of different events and you know like really hype stuff that even plarium supports but they try to control too much of it um so yeah this year it's probably gonna be even crazier um i'm you know i'm supporting I've always been since the beginning. He supported me on Twitch, so I, I you know, I'm thankful for that. Probably, would, I probably wouldn't be as known without him. So, thank you, Raiders. Uh, if you guys want to know more about it, just tell me, and I'll, I'll send you, I'll send you a link so you guys can get into the Discord if he sends, you know, if I get the information. So, thank you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, Raiders.